Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy at Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you a little ClickFunnels trick or secret or tip where we can go ahead and set up a an element or a section or a row. We can make it a delayed appearance. So you know, after 10 seconds or whatever, this image or logo or something pops up on the screen and it stays there. So if somebody leaves the page and comes back the next day or 30 minutes from now, like they don't have to wait another 10 seconds in order to see what it is you're trying to show them. So let me demonstrate it real quick. So one thing we could do, so here, here's our funnel or our, our order form, right? So we got our page here and we want our opt-in or our, our order form to appear after 10 seconds for the sake of example. We wanna give the person 10 seconds to watch this video, read some about our, our offer and so on. So you know you see this a lot in like webinars, you wanna wait until you know, X minutes, 40 minutes into the webinar before you pop up the buy now button. And then you want that button to stay put. You want it to be there um, for them to buy, right? So same concept, you see it a lot with the evergreen webinars, but let's say on this order form, we want the thing to pop up after 10 seconds. So if we came in here and we went to advanced and animation and time delayed and fade in, and I'm gonna set it for five seconds, for example, uh, 10 seconds, we don't wanna sit here together for 10 seconds, but so five seconds, we'll do five seconds, okay? So look, we're, we're sitting here, we got five seconds to watch the video, learn about the product, and boom, it pops up, right? Um, but what if the person leaves the page and then comes back? So they come back, you know, 30 minutes later, and then they gotta wait another five seconds for the thing to load. Now, five seconds isn't that big of a deal, but if it's a two minute wait, like that's a, that could be significant. Somebody might not wanna wait two minutes the second time for that order form to pop up. So how do we get that thing, that order form to stay there the next time the individual comes to the page? So that's what we're gonna cover like in this video is how to do that. All right, so what we gotta do is we're gonna add an element here, add element, and we wanna add a timer in here. So we got minute timer and we're gonna throw that in here and I'm gonna put it right beneath my, my uh, order form. It doesn't matter where you put it, you put it anywhere you want on the page, it does not matter as you'll soon see. So actually, let me go ahead and delete this timer before I forget, otherwise we're gonna have some issues. So I turned off the timer of my thing, so it should pop up. And then what I wanna go ahead and do is use this to do something. So basically, I wanted to set this for the five seconds, five second timer, or however long I want the form before it appears to show up. And what I wanna do is expire action on a show or hide elements and I wanna go ahead and show an element. So I'm gonna show my order form. So we kind of scroll down here and you see like boxes start popping up over time. You see there's a box over here, over here, and then we're on the order form. So there we go. So I wanna show my order form um, once the timer goes off. And then on the re revisit action, I wanna go ahead and auto expire for however many days. Let's say I want 365 days. Like if they've seen this video for five seconds, um, within the last 365 days, this order form is gonna be there, okay? And what I wanna do then is I wanna go ahead and hide this timer. We don't need the person to see the timer. It's like a hidden secret timer. So let's go ahead and flip the little eyeball here so that way we're not seeing the timer. Now, if you wanna bring the timer back because you need to make changes to it or something like that, you just come up here to elements, manage, and then you locate your, your timer here. And you can turn it back on and so on. So that's how you can go ahead and find it again is up under here and manage. Um, and then we gotta go ahead and hide our order form as well. So we're gonna hide that as well. And that timer is gonna make it appear. Again, if you wanna check out your order form again, you just come up here to manage and you unhide it, right? Boom, there it is, boom, it's gone, okay. So save it now. And now we'll go ahead and preview our page again. And now our order form won't be there for hopefully five seconds. And then it's gonna pop up. Boom, popped up, okay? Now, let's say we leave, we go outside, we ride our bikes around for an hour. And then on, when I'm on my bike ride, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy that thing when I get back in. So I'm gonna go back to the sales page and refresh it real quick. And the order form's there. Right? I don't have to wait another five seconds or two minutes or whatever you have um, for the order form to pop back up because if I was had to wait again, you know, two minutes after I already decided I was gonna buy it, like that wouldn't be good, right? You want it the next time to be there. So that's how you can do it. So instead of setting that delay um, 
under the advanced features thing. So instead of going in here and doing the animation and delay timer, you set up a timer, you make it hidden, you hide the element, and then after that timer expires, then it pops up whatever it is you wanna show. And then of course the timer, you can use a timer on sections as well. You don't have to just use it on elements. So for example, if I come in here, click on it, and you can see that we can do rows, sections, lots, of, so we can do multiple elements if we want to. So a lot of options in here. Um, basically, you just make sure you hide whatever it is first. Um, so that way, when the timer counts down, it pops up and you can see it, right? So that's, that's it. Simple little trick, but I've had several people ask similar questions to this, so I decided to make a video that you know I can stick on the internet and anybody can watch it. And here we go. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, yeah, thank you. Have a have a great day.